All right, well, I don't know what happened, what I did wrong, but this passenger side somehow cross-threaded. I'm gonna go ahead and leave that alone for now because that kicked my ass and now I'm tired, frustrated, mad, and instead... What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We are creeping up on our 10,000 subscriber milestone. And to celebrate, Showtime Electronics has donated to us a six and a half component speaker system to give away to one lucky winner. If you are in the market for anything car audio, video, component speakers, wiring, amps, batteries for your car, boat, or off-road vehicle, then look no further. Showtime Electronics have been in the business for 12 years, carrying major brands like JVC, Kenwood, Kicker, Excess Power, Down for Sound, and much, much more. Staffed with highly experienced team members who strive to give you the best deals on any product with as much information as possible through informative videos, reviews, how-tos, and advice from the industry's top experts. Again, Showtime Electronics have provided us with a set of 100 watt, six and a half, component speakers from Sundown Audio for one lucky winner. And all you have to do to enter to win is share any video on this channel, comment 10K giveaway on any one of those videos comment section, and the giveaway ends once we hit 10,000 subscribers. So make sure you get your entries. Mind you, you can do multiple entries, not spamming the same video, but you can do multiple entries by commenting on any other video on the channel, on this channel. So make sure you get your entries for that tens of thousand subscriber giveaway for those Sundown six and a half component speakers. Now, let's get into the video. All right, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Now, from the last video that you guys saw, we, I kind of messed up on the upper back plate. So now this video, that same night, I'm picking up where I left off and cutting this crossbar off and making my template so I can cut these templates out tomorrow. And I have to be quick because it's getting late. The neighbor's house is on the other side of this wall and she always complains about the noise. So let me go ahead and get this, this thing cut out and get started on the redo of the crossbar. And time is of the essence. We're getting close to the deadline for the show. So without further ado, let's just waste no time and get started.
right, guys, we got this thing all finalized, set up in place, already tested the bags, and now we are perfect. So at this point now, I'm going to transition over to making the shock brackets. I need to clean off the wells that I put on the notch when I was uh, having it welded in with the U-bolts. So that's what I'm going to do. End up going to end up doing next now. Um, just getting those all set up in place and adjusted weld those in place, and that will pretty much be it as of now for the rear end. And then we're in definite need of another shop cleaning, which is probably going to be on last. Well, for you guys, it'll be last week's uh, side quest Sunday. I think I'm going to clean up a lot of this stuff out of here and. I'm honestly trying to figure out where I can store the C10 to kind of utilize that space for some fabrication tools that I plan to order in the near future. So uh, back to this, let me go ahead and get this knocked out and then we'll move on from here to the front. All right, as you can see, we got the wheel set up in place, but I am not gonna reveal the wheel just yet. You'll have to wait a little bit longer but as you can see we are pretty close on the lower link that's pretty much as much clearance as we're going to get it's very very little so if we have to uh, i really don't want to but if we have to i might have to notch that lower link but like i said if anything what we would probably have to do is get some sort of spacer and space this wheel out maybe another quarter inch just to give us that little bit of extra real estate so what I'm planning to do is actually cut this bracket right about here because what I'm going to end up doing is welding the shock brackets to the outside plate right here on the lower link. And the reason why is because, uh, well, I got to break this out of the bag real quick. Give me one second. All right. So if we take this and we come right down in here, uh, about right there, see? If we get it into the center of the notch, we're hitting the link. And then what I'm thinking is with that hole right there in the center, I want to center the bracket up to where you can still get to that bolt. So I'm going to have to cut a little bit off of the top right there in order to be able to still move the top of the bracket a little bit farther back to keep it perfectly vertical. And then what I'll end up doing is pretty much welding it to this bracket on both sides and making it one with the axle right there so that's what i'm going to end up doing is cutting a little bit of metal from the top over here just to kind of get it to sit a little bit more vertical as i mentioned and then we can just like i said weld it to that i'll drop the lower link just so we don't overheat the uh the bushing there but yeah that's going to be the plan going to cut this clean it up uh kind of tack it in place and then I'm going to build my upper mounting bracket and then see if we're going to end up going that route. So that'll be the plan. Cut, tack the lower one, tack the upper one, or make the upper one and tack it in. And then we'll kind of see what we're working with uh, from there. So let me go ahead and get this started, get to cutting, and we'll pick this back up once I get everything mocked up.
finished welding up those brackets up last night and I still want to end up doing a cap on these on the corner on the ends of the tube just to kind of keep uh, dirt and moisture out from inside that tube but I don't have my hole saw with me that I used to uh, drill out the, the holes right here for the uh, for the brackets right there on the shocks so I'm going to do that later on in the week just before the show so that'll be the last thing that gets welded and then today I'm going to move going to build some sort of gusset right here to kind of reinforce this a little bit more and then i'm going to spend some time to kind of clean up around because next i'm going to go ahead and get everything ready to start uh, mounting and mounting the tank compressors and the manifold that way we can start plumbing the, the airline so we can have the ability to so we can have the ability to uh raise and lower the truck by the time it gets around to being able to load this thing on a trailer so i'm going to go ahead and finish uh rebolting the lower links on mount the bags clean up everything um make those brackets for the bags right here the reinforcement plates and then i'll clean up then we're going to move to the front to where we're going to drill out the spindle to, so we can so we can attach the tie rods and then from there uh i guess i don't know how much i can get done this weekend and and then eventually we're going to get to the reveal of the new wheels for the build so set you guys up real quick i think first i'm going to go ahead and uh, mount the links in and then we'll start next with the uh reinforcement brackets for the back plates so let me go ahead and get that started So this is where we're at i need to get some fittings coming hopefully i can get those coming before wednesday when we have to uh start airing this thing up and down and yeah that's pretty much it um everything's uh pretty much bolted in in place ready to go i already tested the the bags the shocks bottom out the bags bottom out and we're clearing out the uh drive shaft on that cross member so we're all good there i need to put a bolt in the fuel tank bracket right there because right now it's just being held on temporarily with some vice grips so gonna get that done at this point um i need to actually break out finally the airlift manifold because i'm going to end up making a bracket right here for the uh that little manifold to, to weld to so i'm going to cut a pieces a uh, few pieces of metal to kind of put it here and yeah we're gonna get that done next uh, let's see so let me get this uh, bag out real quick or the sorry the box out real quick with the manifold and then we'll see what we're working with all right so here we have the main components of the airlift system and we got our whole manuals and this is the main thing that we need right now i don't need to take everything out at the moment so this is all the harnesses and electrical stuff that you're going to need for this system this is i believe which one was it I can't remember if it was a 3H or the 3P. So uh, I don't think I'll need, uh, let me open up this real quick, see what all comes in here. And then this is the manifold that we need for right now. And we'll get this out of the box right there. That's all that's in there. We can keep this in here for now. That way we can 
put everything back whenever we're done with it. And then see if I can do this with one hand. Not really. I don't have to use this one. So there she is, the manifold. All your ports are down here. So I've got to get all the, the fittings for that. And start making getting getting a bracket made for this. So let me go ahead and open up the other box. I think the hardware to mount it is in that box. And then I'm gonna get some some of my plate over there that I have left over to make the mounting bracket. Pretty much, as I mentioned, right up in here. So go ahead and knock, get that knocked out and pick this back up in a sec. All right, so went ahead and broke out the, the bag. The, that other box, all I had was the hardware, some a cutter for the plastic airline and zip ties the electrical stuff so that's all in that small bag and then here's your your booklet it's pretty straightforward gives you pretty much everything you'll any information that you'll ever need on this and if we keep continuing to the center it has a really good laid out schematic on how to route this how to mount this proper ways here's if you have the one with the right height sensors which this one don't and here's your main main setup so pretty straightforward really nice and clean colored very well labeled so straightforward it shouldn't be a problem so i'm gonna have to leave this out real quick we're gonna have to refer back to that but first things first let's go ahead and mount this manifold on the frame guys the crunch is real today is saturday i'm thinking i'm going to do a regular upload for tomorrow which for you guys now is sunday and pretty much going to be the next couple of videos are going to be on the obs trying to get it ready for the lane of the lake show so at this point i'm waiting for some fittings that i ordered they should be coming in tomorrow through amazon and in the meantime while we wait for that to come in i still got some time to work on it today I'm going to go ahead and get the battery harness, go ahead and wire that up to the front and hook that up to the front battery. And then I don't wanna put the front bags in just yet because I do need to figure out the where I need to drill a hole at the top in order to have the airline go through. I'll have to go ahead and put the fittings in. I'll have to go also go ahead and have the airline routed all the way through and to the back, but I don't want to cut any of the line yet. Just, for, just in case I cut too much or not enough for one line, then I'll have a whole line that I wasted. So, um, well, but I mean, I don't know. I might, I might go ahead and just start with the airline, kind of get that knocked out of the way. The main thing is going to be the wiring harness for the battery, which I believe it's on this side. Yes. So I'm going to have that wired up, ready to go. And then I'll probably work on uh the airline and getting those front bags mounted oh and i still got to do the the uh sway bars or not the sway bar the tie rod ends so i need to get these knocked out and uh drill the rotor as i mentioned 50 million times already so let me go ahead and move on to you know what i'm go i'll go ahead and do the the front spindle first so let me go ahead and get 
the camera set up over here and get these drilled out and go ahead and set the tie rods. So that will be next. All right, well, I don't know what happened, what I did wrong, but this passenger side somehow cross-threaded. It seemed like it went in fine, um, but I was tightening it. I put in the outside, then kind of jacked it up in the halfway point and just kind of eyeballed, was eyeballing the alignment. As soon as I tried to adjust this uh, sleeve, it started getting tighter and tighter no matter which way I was turning it and eventually it seized essentially like like it cross threaded but it didn't like I said I threaded it in by hand at first you can see in the video but not sure what went wrong there so I'm gonna have to end up getting a uh, new steering link for for this side and then as well as the, the inner because I don't know how bad those threads are gonna be so I'm gonna I, tr I was trying to get it off because hopefully seeing if i can clean the threads but i was using a wrench with a hammer and even with the hammer it's it would still be in the pain so i'm gonna leave it right there it's pr again it's pretty much uh straight right there just eyeball so i just needed enough to be able to get it up and down on the trailer um and then after the show i'll end up having to come in and replace that afterwards so i'm gonna go ahead and leave that alone for now because that kicked my ass and now i'm tired frustrated mad and instead now we're gonna go to wiring up that that battery which i'll probably just end up leaving it for tomorrow because i am worn out so and then i'll pick this back up tomorrow all right guys that's gonna cut it for this video thank you guys so much for watching make sure you hit that like button subscribe share the videos we're creeping up to 9,900 subscribers. And remember, the giveaway is going to end once we reach 10,000 subscribers. So make sure you get your entry. So again, I can't thank you guys enough for watching the videos. Thank you for all your support. And I will see you guys next video.